Welcome back. The state political party conventions are today, but instead of a big arena filled with thousands of delegates choosing their party nominees, they're all at home voting in their pajamas. Yeah, this is like nothing we've seen before or they've done before. Fox 13's Ben Winslow joining us live with more this evening. Ben? Yeah, because of the coronavirus, both the Utah GOP and the Utah Democratic Party were forced to pivot to online only conventions, delegates literally voting in their living rooms like I am uh, here right now in mine. Party leaders though tell me that with this online only voting system as well as pre-recorded uh, can candidate speeches rather, um, they have seen phenomenal turnout. In fact, the Utah Democratic Party's convention, which just wrapped up a few minutes ago, 85% delegate participation. That is a record. And we do have some results from that convention. Let's go to them showing you uh, that Darren Perry and Jamie Cheek will both be in a primary for the first congressional district. Now that is the race to replace retiring Republican Congressman Rob Bishop. Now in the second congressional district, Kale Weston is the nominee winning that uh, outright. In the third congressional district, that would be ultimately potentially facing uh, incumbent Congressman John Curtis. Devin Thorpe winning the Democratic nomination there in uh, the first round of balloting. Congressman Ben McAdams easily won his nomination in the fourth congressional district, avoiding an intra-party fight on the first ballot. Now, in the Utah Attorney General's race, Greg Scordis won without any kind of a problem. And Chris Peterson beat his opponents to win the race in the first ballot for Utah governor. Peterson acknowledged that he's got an uphill fight as a Democrat in Utah seeking a statewide position. And I think that there are a lot of people out there, moderates, that are willing to, 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 to maybe uh, consider a change for the state at this time. Uh, uh, for too long, our, our one-party system has allowed special interests and lobbyists to orchestrate legislation behind the scenes. And oftentimes that legislation is not in the best interest of ordinary working Utahns. To try to help ordinary people. Now, both Utah Republican and Utah Democratic parties are utilizing ranked choice voting this year to deal with rounds of balloting. That's where the candidates are ranked from first to last in order of preference. Anyone who gets 60 percent or above 60 percent wins the nomination outright. If no one gets that, then the top two candidates get on the primary. Utah law also gives candidates a path to the primary ballot with signature gathering. John Huntsman Jr., Spencer Cox, Thomas Wright on the Republican side all utilize that and will be on the November ballot. Now, the online voting for the Utah Republican Party state convention ended about a half hour ago. It will take some time to tabulate the results and we will be reporting those coming up on Fox 13 News live at nine. Live in Salt Lake City, Ben Winslow, Fox 13 News, Utah.